island. It's a private island owned by the Ra Robinson family, and uh, they uh, they bought it because they they went there after a really wet, wet season, and they thought they'd grow sugar cane up there. And then they discovered in the next five or ten years that they had just bought a desert. <laughs> they couldn't grow sugar cane there, so then they had to do it on the main island of Kauai. But that's the Robinson family. But they own this island. It's flat. It's a desert. The west side of yes, the west side of every island is a desert because the wind uh, comes in, it drops drops rain out of the wind there, drops rain out of the wind there, and then the clouds blow out to sea. Where are you guys staying on the island? Kailua. Oh, that's pretty. And so yeah. you're on the windward coast. That would be the coast if you were a kite surfer or a wind surfer yeah, or a sailor. There's a lot and, of them. And it's also got the smoothest air because the wind is coming over the water. Like it was when we were out at the point, we were just in wind coming off the water. Right. Over here, we're closer to this volcano. And the reason why the trade winds aren't coming in is there's a south wind tumbling over the volcano. They're kind of fighting each other. And it's making it for a really nice day for flying. But um, on, the, on the Kailua side, the wind is only coming off the water generally. So we're actually going to see about moving to that side after 20 years and taking yeah. off in Kaneohe Bay. Okay. Uh, because the water is protected with an outside the reef, reef, so it's yeah. really, really smooth water. It's like a nice day on a Minnesota lake. You can take off, go yeah. fly around in the smooth air, and land back there. And it would just make my job easier. And I've just done it over here enough that I wouldn't mind a change. Yeah, yeah. There's a skydiving plane off our left. We like to joke right. that this is the gateway drug for uh, <laughs> uh, the great way, kind of a gateway drug for skydiving. West yeah. of Waimea, 1,000 feet uh, eastbound, north of traffic. Is it offshore or uh, inland? We're offshore, so. Dylan Aminica on Paradise 2 with you at the swimming pool. We'll be uh, eastbound along the shoreline, not coming into line yet. Yeah, we put inbound from the east. Copy your report inbound. So I just told the guy in the tower we're not landing, so anybody down there can listen to my call and they go, okay, he's not landing, we can take off, we can land. That's all I did. Now, we're flying lower and lower because we have landing areas right next to us. Okay. All right. We're going to fly a little low on that beach, take some pictures because it's legal. Okay. And more importantly, it's fun. Right. <laughs> I'm so excited. Powered parachutes, powered hang gliders. Powered parachutes, powered hang gliders, and gyrocopters get special permission to fly as low as we want oh, cool. in an uncongested, uncontrolled airspace, which That's is cool. what we're flying in. Even though there's yeah. a tower down there, it's not a real tower. It's an uncontrolled tower that uh, they don't have the authority to actually tell a pilot what to do. Now we're gonna kind of keep an eye out. There's a glider that might be coming into land and we're gonna stay out of their way. But uh, if, they, if that doesn't get in our way, we're gonna fly low on that beach. All right, awesome. <laughs> We've only been using gravity for the last four or five minutes. I'm not using the engine. We've just been coming down. So you okay. can see it didn't even scare you, right? No, I'm you wouldn't not even, at all. You wouldn't even know it. Because right. <laughs> um, gravity is works just great. Yep. Right, we'll do another turn. I'm just still trying to keep an eye out for a glider coming in to land, but I don't see him. I think it. Well, yeah, I don't. Maybe know. it already landed. I think it. I think it was coming in. Because I heard of one going on cross. Oh, he's right over there. See that guy oh, yep. way up there? All right, so we're gonna do this real quick. Oh, fun! <laughs> All right, smile at the camera. Just do this for a second and then we'll get out of the oh, way for him. Cool. All right, give me a smile. So this is safe and legal and fun. Perfect, girl. All right, now we're gonna get out of the way so he knows that we're not gonna actually land. So I'm trying to let him know visually because he doesn't have to have a radio. He'll be bumpy over here, but we don't care. Okay, no, I'm good. Because see, he's got the right of way because he doesn't have an engine. I don't have any con paradise too. We're going to uh, Malka, the tower. We got the uh, glider on base. Look at this lake that looks like a heart. Yeah. It's a rock quarry. This is where they. No, I'm uh, I'm still eastbound. I just want to get out of his way. Copy that. Report uh, inbound for uh, pattern. 
so they dug down to get rock for the runway and then down down there a little ways you're going to get fresh water from the uh, mountain range and you're going to get salt water so it's a little bit salty water a little brackish yeah. and that's what a, a catfish like and evidently a tilapia like so that's oh. a that's a tilapia <laughs> farm all right yeah you can see the glider that just landed yeah all right so he just got out of his way so he didn't have to worry because he doesn't have any options he only has gravity right there's another one coming in there's another one. Oh, or yeah, an airplane we're, we're, there. We're yeah. going to be departing 26. General aircraft 26 departure. Not about what's here, number one departing. Get ready to that. Tom, I got you in sight. Okay, there's some aircraft on the uh, far west end, Randy. I don't know if it's a glider or not, but just look for it. Okay, Roger that. There's a glider turning base. Yeah, glider on base. Okay, Roger that. I'll be out of your way. We can make an early turnout, or you can go uh, State Malcolm. Will do. So what we basically have is airplanes going towards each other. Yeah, we got it, mate. Because he took off here, but he's going to turn away from the runway because the other airplane's coming in to land. This is very un unorthodox, okay? <laughs> but it's a 9,000-foot runway, and the skydiver's based down here where they can land. Yeah. And so he doesn't want to do anything other than pick them up and take off. So right. he's getting out of the way so the glider can come in and land. Okay, yeah, I see. And I don't even see where the glider is. Oh yeah, the, the glider's coming in to land and he's going out. So I warned, oh, I warned the pilot because the tower didn't see him, and then he uh, checked it out and saw him. Nice. Yeah. So look how choppy the water is. Yeah, it's a lot different. All right. Here. And uh, personally, I hope that the wind doesn't get real, real strong because it's real cross. If you add real strong on it, then I can't do flights. So I'll keep my fingers crossed about Michelle right now. The only thing that you could consider, but I'm not saying it's worth it or not. Let me pull up the winds and see what's happening. It's crazy, but I could be up here in the air. I would never text while, while driving. Uh, uh, while flying, it's totally cool because right. there's nothing around it. 3 9 Victor, on the fuel soon. Uh, let's see. I want a wind report right there. Then I have to redo. All right. Okay, thank you. So we didn't go down this way yet. That's the drop zone where the skydivers land. Okay. It's fun to watch the parachutes. If you do a left turn there out of our parking lot, you can come by. You can park there for free. You can watch them land. You can drive out the gate if you just want to watch a bunch of parachutes land. Because you have two really, really busy companies. They're landing all the time. The winds are 5 to 13. They're, they're real cross, but they're not real strong yet. But uh, they've been gusting up to 15 right there. So uh, we can... How many more days do you guys have on the island? First lesson to learn if you're going offshore is that you need to go higher oh, so, so you can get back. Crazy. So I just pulled up a map to, so I can see if any aircraft are coming out oh over here. My gosh, yeah. So the further you go offshore, the higher you want to be. And uh, we'll keep an eye out for any aircraft that are in the area. I'm looking on the screen, I don't see any. But it sounded like one was coming this way, so help me look for them. Look at them splashing. Now, the babies, the babies will kind of get up on their tail and wobble around okay. and they'll splash down. And they're very entertaining because they don't do it with the style that the mamas do. So it's pretty fun to watch them. Yeah. Uh, how cool is that, huh? That is amazing. There's whales there, oh, yeah. oh, and there. So cool. All right, so see the neon blue I was telling yeah, you about? That okay, that's great. their arms. Let 
gonna go around them, but there's at least two whales coming right our way. Yeah. You're gonna have them on both sides of you. Awesome. It'll be hard to see them for a moment, and then it's gonna get really, really good. There's two whales yeah. going together. Okay. The one on the side closest to the uh, beach, that's a baby. Yeah. That's a mama and a baby. Come around, we'll see him really good. All right. Yep, I'm gonna try to swing wide so we don't have to look so steep. So they're just down under the surface a little bit. Yeah. They might not like our engine noise, but you got a pretty good view of a mama and a baby. Yeah. they would do it when I keep coming around to the sunny side. You can hold on wherever you want it. It doesn't well, get in the kind of blocking the view a little No, bit. it doesn't block my view. I can see fine. I've, I've seen millions. So what, what I would suggest, just knowing the weather fine here 20 years, yeah. is once the wind starts coming in, it's not supposed to get real windy today, but it, if we want to get Michelle in the air, we're a little bit over a half an hour fly, but we would just bill for a half an hour. If we okay. boogie back in, there's more yeah, chance that I'll get her in the air. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. Especially I saw those whales, like, that, that's not going to... Yeah. This is Going down this way, the only thing I want to point out, see those apartment buildings? Yeah. There's a beach there that's protected from the waves because there's a reef, see how calm oh, the yeah, water is? Right green. next to the sand is a little green strip you can see, and that's a really cool place to swim with turtles. Okay. And we're going to give you the name of the beach, and you can go right there. All right. See if we see if they're going to come up one more time. You can see them swimming along. Yeah. They don't seem to want to come right up. So uh, there, the, look at the baby's on the other side now, I think. Yeah. Baby's on the right side. Yeah. All right, that's as good as it gets. There's 